Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some extreme cleaning motivation. We are doing some outdoor cleaning. I am tackling cleaning up my garage, decluttering and organizing it all. We are also tackling my outdoor deck. It was in desperate need of a total scrub down and cleaning up all of the patio furniture. We actually have a lot of land if you are new to my channel. So it is a full time project, you know, probably for a few weeks to get it all back in order. And we also had to clean out all of these drawers and items that my daughter uses. Um, back there and for all the kids that come over so we had our work cut out for us but it's part of the fun for me once the weather starts changing and it felt so good to get this project started I hope you guys are all hitting awesome weather and let's do it guys birthday Molly Chuck. <laughs> you should go out like that in public you really should <laughs> come on bud we gotta put your hat on Woo! come on bud all right <laughs> happy birthday dear Molly happy birthday to you <laughs> Yay! Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Molly! Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! To you! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Molly! Happy birthday to you! Woo! Good boy! I want a tiger! Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are getting started right away on this first day of cleaning. We must have cleaned John and I for probably no joke 10 to 12 hours on this day. We had such a long list of things to accomplish in this cleaning video. Um, I decided just to start here with the doors and windows just to get them really cleaned up. They really had so much dust and dirt from all of the storms that we have had and you know we had plenty if you've been following me. So I'm just starting up by taking care of that. I actually ended up letting Maddie stay home from school on this day. It was the first day of really beautiful weather. We hit a weekend of 74 and 84 degrees, so we figured it was the perfect time to get this all started. And when I say we had a lot to do, I'm not joking. While I was working on our deck, as you'll see here, John was um, working on taking down some of the branches on our trees. The trees are absolutely beautiful, but they cause so much work between the leaves and the branches that fall every year, the seeds, etc. So John found this really awesome tool um, to be able to cut down some of the branches on our own because it costs quite a bit of money if you um, outsource that. So we were super excited that it worked so well and he always makes me nervous up on that ladder but you're not stopping that man once he has something in his mind to get done and I'm like that as well so I really kind of just stay out of his hair it turned out really great and we have so much more sun um, in the areas that we want where we set up the play area for the kids and such so it was definitely worth it and wasn't too expensive but while he was doing that I decided I needed to scrub this deck down we have a lot to do this is really almost just like the beginning stages of of cleaning our outdoor space um, but I wanted to really give the deck a scrub down um, just with some soap so that it could be prepped for painting um, we'll be doing that probably in the next two weeks or so who knows by then maybe I'll need to scrub it down again but I think I should be able to just rinse it and be good to go but my main goal um, in the first part of this morning was just to get the deck cleared off and to start washing down all of the patio furniture and a lot of my daughter's toys and stuff so that we could get the deck together i also needed to deep clean my carpets in the room leading out there as well as um, my outdoor deck rugs and i needed to get the patio furniture really scrubbed down and a lot of the toys we just had our work cut out for us so just starting there before we can move into cleaning off all of the branches to get the yard started I've been 
dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. hey i don't know if i told you that i think you're beautiful and how oh, i can't wait to hold you yeah you pull me up when i'm falling down and i don't know what i would do without you yeah you pull me up when i'm falling down So after I was done getting these rugs cleaned out, you guys, look at this dirt. Like, no joke, it was desperately needed to get done. And this is my favorite time of the year to clean my rugs because it is so easy just to clean out these machines with a hose outside. And I feel like my rugs will just get washed so much more. I tend to wash them at least once every two weeks once the weather warms up just because I don't have to take the whole machine apart and it just makes life so much easier. So after after that was taken care of, I was just taking some of the Dawn dish soap and spraying down um, some of our loungers. I also had to go into like the three bin um, toy holders for my daughter, her sandbox, and of course sanitize the little pools and slides that my daughter will be using. It's always such a process and I wanted to get this done on this first day as well as wipe down and give a really good scrub down to her little chair that had paint left on it from last year and our table that will be going back up onto our deck. We just had our work cut out with everything, um, but it felt so good to be out in the sun and just made me feel so alive. I really don't mind doing this kind of cleaning. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys enjoy outdoor cleaning as much as I do? It just feels so good to be in the sun. It doesn't even feel like work to me, like when you're inside. So I'm just taking care of all of that. Um, getting them all scrubbed down. As you can see, it really needed it from the dirt that just piled on throughout this long winter that we have here. And then I moved on um, later on in the day to picking up all of the branches outside. We desperately need to do this before we can start mowing the lawn and laying down grass seeds. So just taking care of one thing at a time. It's just something about you. I just want more. Tell me what you want to do right now. Tell me what you want to do tonight. I really don't care as long as I'm with you. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There. Can I have my drink? Thank you, love. Where are you going, girl? Cheese. So John did an amazing job getting so many of these branches and things um, cut down using that amazing new tool that he purchased. The thing is amazing. We should have bought that years ago. I didn't even know it existed, like that it would work that well. Um, the man's always finding something, but we're just getting everything started. It's always a work in progress, but it feels so good to be out here. It's 74 and sunny and I feel amazing. <laughs> so. Um, I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then maybe pick up some branches for the day and then play with Maddie and um, we might start the garage tomorrow so just taking it day by day and I also just really want to enjoy it too so feels good feels good after the fall and winter I had guy so he got that um, branch that was falling down from a storm <laughs> you know the storms we've had um, so he got that one down so it wasn't a hazard. And then all of this, you guys, look at this. So moving outside to pick up all of these branches in our yard, I feel like this video doesn't even do it justice, even though you will see just how many I pick up just even in these few hours I was doing this. John and I just decided to do it as a team. I wanted to help him out just because there were so many. We have so much space back here and 
as beautiful as it is, it is so much in the beginning to pick up just because it's all winter long of branches being thrown down, um, leaves, sticks, twigs, everything just gets all over the yard and it has to be picked up obviously before we can lay down any grass seed and mow the lawn. And so basically we just take a piece of tarp and put it onto the back of the lawnmower to take it out to the front yard. And I swear to you, I think we did that about six times. We had we had been doing this for hours, literally hours all day, but I didn't mind. Honestly, it was so fun with Maddie just playing in her little wading pool. It felt like I was just getting some good exercise out in the sun and I just really enjoyed it. And it feels good because now we can finally get the lawn together and then work on, you know, ma making my backyard a little resort as I call it. We love to put our pool up and the big blow ups for the kids. And I'm just so happy that summer is coming that I don't even mind doing this. So just picking up what I can for this day, anything that couldn't just be rolled over by the lawnmower. Such a process, but so worth it. And after I was done with that, the next day we moved into tackling our hot mess of a garage, you guys. Love strong, just like a love song, baby. It's haunting me to know what you're thinking. It's like I'm sinking deep underwater. Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me. Oh, harder for me. Maybe we're over it, or maybe just lovers. Cause under the covers, baby, you're showing me be fearless so no one can hear us you're throwing the pillars through the floor now but you're loving 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 on me hey loving on me so moving into day two of this clean with me, we decided to tackle our garage and it was no joke as you can see, it was a total disaster in there you guys. My daughter was so adorable and wanted to help. It was Saturday I believe and she wanted to get in there and help me clean out things. She was also super excited to get a lot of her toys and water tables and things out back onto the patio and deck. So she was going to help regardless, it was super cute. Um, it was really nice having John home on this Saturday. He normally doesn't have off, so it was the perfect day with it being so warm outside to have him help tackle this. And I first decided just to take any trash out. That's always my first step when I do these things. There's just so many little things from empty cans that I meant to take away. We even had old Christmas boxes in there still. Um, we just got um, a new... Um, basketball set and things that boxes were just laying everywhere. There's so many leaves that somehow even make their way into here during the winter time. <laughs> Winters are long here so everything just gets thrown in here in a mess but luckily it's a super large area so once we get it cleaned up it can look really nice and we like to keep our ping pong table in there. We really like to just make our backyard a fun space where everybody can come and relax. We like to eat out here and just have everything be really open then it leads right out into the back backyard so that you can have some shade here as well if you want to and it becomes that space where you have the back deck to hang out in with the kids or you can play games in the um, garage or outside so just super excited that we got this done with. I got almost everything cleared out off of the floors, the ping pong table that you'll see, got a lot of the things sprayed down, cleaned and sanitized and then the last thing I'll have to do in the future is just tackle a lot of the shelves. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so new, so I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in 
the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I find my way I find my way In bad times I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way So I was so excited to be finishing by cleaning up this ping pong table. It was so dusty. It was absolutely disgusting, but we all really love to play. We get really into it around here. We get really competitive. It's really fun. So I'm glad that we can start enjoying these things again. And that section will have to wait until we can put the pool up. I decided to go into this next day. Look how cute this is. Look at this little cutie hanging out with me. I truly feel so blessed to have her every day in my life. She is just such a joy to be around. And the last thing I decided to do on day two of cleaning here was to clean out all of her toy bins, clean off that um, patio table. It Everything just had so much dust and dirt on it, and it really is so satisfying watching it get all washed away so that we could at least get the patio furniture onto the deck so that we could enjoy it before we start painting everything. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. And we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated So after I got the patio all set up, it felt so great to be able to enjoy it for the next couple of days while the sun was still out. John decided to end our long two days of cleaning outside by putting up a new fence area for the kids and the dogs. That way it's a safe space for them to play in while we're eating out there or working. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're hitting beautiful weather and enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye. You say that I'm crazy. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you mm. Your laughter takes me to heaven I just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again Yeah, you make the sky so blue No, nothing's complicated,